وهو الذي جعلكم خلائف الأرض ورفع بعضكم فوق بعض درجات ليبلوكم فيما آتاكم إن ربك سريع العقاب وإنه لغفور رحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله على نيمة الإسلام والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم آه We thank Almighty Allah for making us to witness this year's Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. Glory be to Allah. Inshallah, as we know, Islam is a complete way of life and all aspects of life. Inshallah, uh, we'll be discussing um, maintaining mental and physical fitness in Ramadan. Inshallah, uh, when we look at the topic, Mental and physical fitness, the two cannot be uh, separated because if you have uh, a mental um, uh, ailment, if you have a poor physical um, health, this can result, uh, is going to be a risk factor for developing a mental um, ailment. Equally, in the same vein, if you have a, phys if you have a physical, if a bad physical uh, mental condition, is equally um, in, in the same vein, poor mental health problem can equally uh, give rise to uh, a, a poor physical condition. So, by way of definition, a good mental fitness is characterized by a person's um, ability to fulfill a number of key functions and activities. Now, such as uh, the ability to learn, the ability to feel, the ability to express, and equally, the ability to manage both uh, um, positive and negative emotion. Equally, the ability to form and maintain relationship. If you have all this, then you have a good mental uh, fitness or mental health, so to say. Now, what are the things that you do? What are the things that we need to do or we need to know that we help us to maintain our mental and physical fitness. Um, one, you value yourself. By valuing yourself, that means you treat yourself with kindness and respect. You avoid self-criticism. You know that you are a special being. You appreciate the fact that Allah has created you in a special way and Allah has endowed you with a lot of goodness. Because when you look at that verse of the Quran, which of the favor of Allah will you deny? So in this month of Ramadan, you make good use of your hobbies, the, the things you are best at. Like now, maybe you want to retire, you are good at reciting of the Quran, you want to memorize some verses of the Quran. If you have some of these, you plan your life, you plan yourself so that you can make good use of uh, this, your talents. Another thing is taking care of your body physically can equally improve your mental health. In this sense, what we have to take care in our body is what we eat. You take care of, uh, you eat nutritional meals, a balanced diet, a diet that is full of fruits and vegetables. Fruits, vegetables, and you make sure all the classes of food are included in the diet you take. So this will improve uh, your physical health. Equally, you drink a lot of water, you drink plenty of water. Uh, it is recommended that the amount of water that a person is required to drink in a day is like three liters of water. So you should try as much as possible during this Ramadan to maintain these three liters. In the morning, you say, say you take a liter of water. In the evening, a liter. In between, you can equally take a liter, making the three required a uh, liter for the day. Equally, you exercise. Exercise is very, very important. It helps to decrease depression, anxiety, and equally improve moods. So in this month of Ramadan, you should assign time for you to engage in exercise. It is recommended that you should have like uh, 20 to 30 minutes breaks work. 
and you can if you can main, make up to this 30 minutes you can call it engage in maybe like 10 minutes of aerobic exercise it improves the mood equally you get enough of sleep one may ask ah sleep in ramadan that when you need to keep vigil observe uh, kiyam light yes you need to plan your sleeping habits in this month of ramadan you can observe your csr that is two hours because it's recommended that you have up to at least six to seven or eight hours of sleep. If you observe your siesta, fine. Then in the night, after observing your tarawi, you can sleep early so that you'll be able to wake up very early in the night, maybe around 3, 3.30 for your sahur, kiyamun layl, and salat to subi. So you plan yourself sleeping early after the tarawi prayer. Equally, you surround yourself with good people. You connect with your family and loved ones in this month of Ramadan. The month is the month of socializing with our, our loved ones. Because, and meeting with righteous people, as I've rightly said, that one of the uh, meritorious uh, deeds in this holy month of Ramadan, we call it Ziyara to Solihin, meeting good people, meeting with righteous people. When you meet with righteous people, you inquire, they tell you about their experiences in life. This will aid you and guide you towards your life journey. And equally, uh, this is time for you to pay visitation to your families, exchange gifts to your families and loved ones, your neighbors, and get closer uh, to your people. Equally, uh, this is a month that you need to show a lot of kindness. You have to be kind. You give your time and your body to help people. There are a lot of people, there are less of people that are less privileged than we are. So this is the month of sadako. You have to do a lot of sadako. Uh, there are some people they want to fast, they don't have food to take in to take for sahur, and they even don't have uh, food for iftar to break their fast. This is the month that you can show kindness to this kind of people by sponsoring or providing a uh, sahur and iftar shahr ramadan alladhi unzila fihi alquran hudan lin nas wa bayyinat min alhuda wal furqan faman shahida minkum ash-shahr falyasum وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Zakat and Sadako Foundation. Zakano Mayawa Abdul Alim Hamad Oje students ni Federal University of Technology Futsa ni Akurembi Bay ni Mining Engineering on Rail Levels. Oni ono kara ekpeki oje anfani laptop. Laptop ti ewa ni ewa wai. Ole kere ni oju sugo uwe wa orara ten thousand. Naira. <laughs> Zais for Zakah to cure our greed when we give our money to those in need. Zais for Salamun Alaikum. Peace be with you, wa Alaikum Salam. Shais for Shams, the shining sun which Allah placed for everyone. And Zais for Salah for when we pray facing Him. Every day facing him till we meet our Lord. And this is a month that you can equally assess yourself. If you have, have a wealth that has reached the Nesop, that you can equally engage in zakat. You can do your zakat 
in this holy month of Ramadan, engage a lot of sadako, a changing of gift. He's, in fact, you have to show kindness because Allah is very kind to us and we need to emulate these attributes of Allah in this holy month. Other thing that you need to maintain to maintain your mental and physical health is that you have to learn how to deal with stress. Stress is part of life. It's an in it's inevitable thing. But there are some things you have to know how to manage your stressful condition. One of the ways by which you can deal with stress is putting up a smiling face. You smile all the time. You take a natural walk. Eh? Research has shown that laughter, somebody laughing, boosts immunity. It is pain. It releases the body. It relaxes the body and reduces stress. So, uh, you need to find a way out of get not being stretched off. So, another point in maintaining our physical and our mental health is to quiet our mind. What do you mean by quieting our mind? You meditate. You think and reflect on the signs of Allah. Hmm? The creations of Allah. Is it the creation of the heaven and the earth? Is it the sun? Is it the creation of the human being? Is it the oceans and the mountain? You reflect on the signs of Allah. Meditating. When you're meditating, you'll be able to give thanks and appreciate Allah. This is month of meditation. Equally, you set realistic goal for yourself. You decide on what you want to achieve and stay on track. Now, what do you want to achieve in this Ramadan? You plan ahead. I want to complete three Quran. I want to memorize a surah or some verses of the Quran. I want to memorize and learn some hadith. So all these things that you want to do in this holy month of Ramadan, you decide. That is planning. Setting realistic goal. So that at the end of the month of Ramadan, you would have achieved. I want to observe uh, uh, istikaf. I want to do this. All those things, you need to plan ahead and stay on track. Equally, you avoid self-medication. In this early month of Ramadan, you make sure you take medication that is prescribed by a doctor if you have any ailments or any chronic uh, condition. You don't just take any, and if you have any ailment or any chronic health condition, you visit your physician ahead uh, of Ramadan. And if he's doing this month of Ramadan, if you're feeling some... Uh, uh, um, aggravation or so effect of your ailment, you don't just take any drug. You meet your doctor, so it's prescribed, and you are given the strategy of how to uh, observe the month of Ramadan, what to do and what not to do uh, in the holy month, and how best you can manage your health and uh, be able to fast the month of Ramadan effectively. Equally, you break up the monotony. You break up, and breaking the monotony means that you add spices to all your routines. What you do ordinarily, you add spices. You do it in a special way, in a different way. Your salat, your um, uh, uh, rawati, nofla, the things you do. Even your cooking, you add spices to it. A uh, uh, great month of Ramadan. Then, when you now have issues, uh, you get help. During the course of trying to maintain your health, your physical and um, uh, mental health, if you, have, if you need to seek an assistant, I help. You seek help. You don't stay alone. It's a month where you need to meet a lot of people, where you need to share ideas, where you need to socialize, where you need to express yourself, where you need to improve in your spirituality, in everything, such that at the end of the month, you have glory to thank Allah that you have fasted very well and you are expecting uh, Allah to reward you abundantly. I pray Allah reward us all very well in this month of Ramadan. I pray, pray Allah assist us and let us benefit maximally from this uh, glorious uh, month. Akuli kawli haza sakulali walakum assalamu alaikum. Da is for Deen, Al Islam, religion with Allah since time began. Da is for Dik, remembering Allah, and Ra is for the month of Ramadan. 
Oh, Ramadan. That is for zakah to cure our greed. When we give our money to those in need. That is for salamun alaykum. Peace be with you. Wa alaykum as-salam.